hey all welcome to this new edition of tips and tricks and this time we found matthias available to talk us through his fantastic toolkit his debug toolkit actually so <laughs> i hope you prepared something really nice for us today matthias because i'm kind of looking forward to this one all right thank you peter um yeah so um I love to call it mine. Uh, I've uh, gave it to MS Endpoint Manager, so it's uh, it's on the website there now. Um, it's a contribution of a lot of people actually that I've gathered into a toolkit, and uh, the reason for doing that is because my memory, uh, when I need to do stuff and debug stuff, it can be somewhat hard. So if I don't want to sit in one note every time I need to debug something that I uh, forgot about which event log, um, where to go on the device, et cetera, et cetera. I, I started to think, well, to ease this up for myself, I need to create a debug uh, toolkit. So it's easy for me to uh, actually debug stuff that I commonly see uh, as issues when I do X, Y, Z. So that's how it started. So it's um, basically to prevent you from forgetting stuff. That's basically what you're saying, right? Yes, that's my memory right there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're getting older. I, I don't want to point it out, but uh, <laughs> just stating the obvious. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh, from time to time very stressful to be a IT uh, dude. Um, so lots of inputs, lots of things to. Uh, to work on, et cetera, et cetera. But um, I think let's let's get into it, shouldn't we? Yeah. Um, so if we go to the MS Endpoint Manager, we can go into the solution modes over here, and we have the Intune Debug Toolkit. And here you can see the contributions of all the, the end user, uh, all the admins out there that I have asked to, to uh, if, if I was um, able to put this into to the tool, and they all agreed that this, uh, I, I, uh, they, they would be happy to do that. So, so this is a, a, a multi-contribution kind of thing for for a lot of users. And and if you want to look further into what the tool is actually about, I, I try to to document the whole thing here on this site. Um, and the first thing you you want to look into is, of course, how do I install this and how was it intended to work? <clears throat> As you know. In the good old days where we had a domain joint device and we were able to have domain admins and we were able to query everything from a remote location directly on the client, um, these days are over. Um, now we live in a cloud native world. We live in a highly more protected device uh, uh, identity that we, we cannot just remote into. At least there need to be an end user that accept that you remote into. That's how most of tools are working, unless you use Teamur uh, with with uh, without uh, any uh, interaction with users and, and such tools. But um, for most companies, that is their everyday, and this tool is intended to use with the device in hands. So, if you have errors in your environment. What I normally see is that that error will be a common error. So let's say you had issues with a policy that you applied. That policy might be a global one, uh, most likely. So if you have trouble with it on one device, you might have trouble on all of your devices. So doing the debug here locally on one device with the problem is good enough to fix it for everyone normally. So this tool is intended to use on a device where you have hands on. And um, let's dive into how we can get uh, our hands on this one. First way is to actually go to the GitHub here. And uh, here we will quickly see the latest version, which is which is version 2.3. Um, the hit counter is, is right now, it's, it's down, but uh, I'll try to fix it and see yet. This tool is actually quite popular. It's been downloaded more than 20,000 times uh, at least. Um, I try to, on a general uh, basis, to update the tools so that uh, we get fresh tools. Uh, so every time I see a 
good tool that fit into the toolbox that will fix something that is not that easy to fix or not that easy to figure out. Um, it's a it's a it's a good fit for the tool. Um, is that also a question to the audience? Like, if you if you've seen a tool or if you actually created a tool that's not within the debug toolkit, please leave a comment and make sure that you can look at it. Absolutely, uh, I'd love to do that. Um, it already have a lot of uh, tool functionalities in there, and and we're gonna look at it one by one uh, in another video though. Um, but but yes, please, if you have good tools and you have good use of them and how to use it and what's, what use case it solves, please hit the comment button and, and, and get back to us. But there are easier ways to get this MSI downloaded and installed because, well, GitHub, yeah, that's one thing. Um, but but wouldn't it be nicer if I could just utilize one of the features that we already have on the device? And here I mean, of course, WinGet. So um, a couple of months ago, I, I looked into how we can get this into WinGet, uh, the, the public repository, and that was definitely doable. Uh, it it uh, required uh, certain things to be available for the toolkit, uh, installed mechanism, uninstalled mechanism, some silent parameters to install the application, et cetera, et cetera. But all that, luckily, I worked with that in my past. That was the first 15 years of my career I built MSI packages and automated oh, really? everything I saw. Yes. Oh, so, and now, now I get that why you're feeling old already. That, <laughs> it's, it's just your... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but besides that, we can uh, ensure that we do WinGet and install. <laughs> and <laughs> you're just talking over it, right? Yeah, I do. I do. When I don't know what to answer, I can uh, just uh, Intune Smart Debug. Move. Yes. Intune Debug Toolkit. That's the name of it. If you install that, you can see it went to the GitHub repository uh, with a hash meaning that if anyone tampers with this package, some middleman have put in any malware in, in the package, you would be, um, not be able to download it uh, from this GitHub. So um, unless they have permission to uh, upload new stuff, they don't. So you can be safe with that. So you can see it downloaded to fifth, uh, five uh, megabytes and it was successfully installed and we can also verify that it is uh, indeed applied. So that that's kind of the first step, and what I wanna wanna say here in the first video on tips of tricks is that if you ever been in out of box experience and you had issues with applications that failed on the ESP side of things, you get this very ugly error uh, on on the screen, and the user can't really use that for anything. Um, I built a couple of things for easing up the uh, debugging of that. So if you go to tools that is within the C drive now and to autopilot and look at that, I actually put in CM trace. I don't know if I'm, I'm able to do so, if I can uh, license wise, et cetera, et cetera. But CM trace is a tool that I really, really, really miss as a config manager um, admin. So, Sorry, I put it in there, Microsoft, but uh, yeah, I can take it out if I'm not allowed to. But the good thing about this is that I can debug autopilot and that function is basically using a tool that Petri Pavola from Finland created that looks into the IME log and it's gonna show you exactly what happened when the uh, error occurred uh, on your device. So I can, of course, run it here on this device, but the, the, the purpose of this is that to ease it up. So once you are in OOBE and you installed the Intune Debug Toolkit using WinGet, it actually works if you are in 24H2 out of the box. Um, you have a very easy way to do debugging um, on, on this OOBE device. So looking into the Intune Management Extension Log, that is, you need to be an expert to know what, what happens in there. And what you also will uh, see is all the uh, 
GWT that is not something you can actually use for anything. You can, of course, look it up in Intune, but you would like to have some common names so you actually understand what happened on this device. Um, so uh, that's the tip of tricks of this session. Now you know uh, Intune Deepak Toolkit is available on the GitHub repository. You know you can get it from Winget, how to install it. Um, now it's up to you to research what is in it. We'll come back to that on a later stage in this tips and tricks series. Awesome. Thank you.